Panama hats, uh, they started using a long time ago, we say a couple hundred ago, but they get in vogue in the 40s, 30s. And the name is owned because when the Panama Canal was open, Teddy Roosevelt went with a conference and they asked where you get the hat, and he said, I get it in Panama. So from that year on, they say, the Panama hat. In order to be a Panama hat, they had to meet three criteria. First, they had to be completely handmade. Second, in Ecuador. Third, uh, from a specific kind of palm they call toquilla palm. They grow only in Ecuador because it's an organic material, no nylon is, is on the hat. So for this kind of weather, which is warm and humid, you feel very fresh and you exchange air, evaporating in the sweat. And it's very light because the palm is very, very, very thin but very resistant. So you can do almost everything with the hat and when you wear it, it's like a feather. Do you find you have people come into the shop having one idea of the kind of hat they want and then they leave with a completely different... Like, yes, like 200 times a day. What is 200 times a day? At least. Because you're the expert, you're like, just trust me, trust me. Yes, what happened right now, uh, since uh, Britney Spears get this hat, everybody want it. But big guys, uh, broad shoulders, so they don't look good on it. So and even the guys want to look like Britney Spears? Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Because what happened, I always say, is a woman too can take over a men hat, but not the other way around. Okay, what do you think? Looks great. Oh, perfect answer. Yes, I like you, Gustavo. <laughs> Thank well, you. what else would you recommend then for me? We've got so many to choose from. Well, this one is my number one wearing women. Ooh, I love this. I love the vintage style. What era is this? 20s, 30s. Oh, it's just lovely. They certainly knew how to make things back in the day, didn't they? What happened is a convenient hat because on the, on the back you, it's a short brim, so if you are driving you don't have to take it off and you don't, we don't miss your hair. Very nice. But in the front it's a big brim, so it's covering you from the sun. Well, I love how hats have changed over the years to adapt certain lifestyles. So what would you say have been some of the biggest changes with the styles? Well, at the beginning, a Panama hat they should, they should cover you from the sun. Like this one. This is the oldest in the women. They call Pamela. Presumably because the woman first worn it, they call Pamela was her name. This is more what we call an urban hat. And these have almost come back too. I know Jennifer Lopez is a big fan of a hat like exactly. this. Exactly. What happened this one, if you want to walk, you can bend it. Ah, see all the ways you can change it. And what was the idea behind the wide rim? Protect you from the sun. Not only the face, but also what we call in Spanish, the nacimiento, this part, because they wrinkle very, very easy. Oh, we don't want wrinkles, Gustavo, no. No, they don't look good. Well, I love this one. I can certainly see the practical aspect of it being a bit tricky. The other hat that's really caught my eye is this one. It ah. looks kind of Audrey Hepburn-esque Actually, me. you were right. I, I am? Oh, good, yes. good. I'm good on my hat, my hat trivia. Oh, yes, I love it. Now, what can you tell me about this hat? Well, the name is Campana, mean belt in Spanish, it, because it's like a belt. I love it. It cover your, cover your, your face completely. It looks really chic to me. It adds a little air of mystery as we're walking through old San Juan. You're right about it. Well then, let's get a little bit more current. What would you say is the most sort of hip and trendy hat right now, or the well, most modern hat? Well, the most modern we call the checkers. And how is this made? Well, uh, from here, start to weave around, but the artisan has to know before what you're gonna do because uh, you need one uh, palm uh, of each color. So you have to know the, the pattern already. They, they, they have to be very skillful. So they would design the pattern ahead of time and then start to make it? Absolutely, yes. Well, the attention to detail is pretty incredible. Well, and I love that it makes the hat really unique. And I think it's another one that maybe the ladies could pull off and steal from the guys. That's right. Oh, great.